Our scenario involves a small community of around 2,500 people. This community has a problem with crime in youth ranging from theft, mischief, breaking and entering, and assaults. The way we're going to be analyzing this problem is using the Sarah model. The Sarah model is a method of problem solving that involves scanning, which is to figure out what the problem is and to find out what's causing the problem, analyzing to find out who's involved in the problem and what their interests and positions are as well as answering who's doing it, what's happening, where it's happening, when it's happening, and why it's happening. Responses to figure out what you're going to do about the problem and what methods you're going to use to tackle the problem. And assessing, which is to see how your plan went and how you can improve or follow up on the faults of your response. Hey right, neighbor, how's it going? It's a beautiful day out here, just having a quick barbecue. Just cooking up with the family. Oh, what the fuck? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the main event. bike in there, 450cc. I swear those gladi kids. I don't even know why I live out here. I'll get you next time, buddy. You stupid kids. Criminal activity in small towns is dramatically increasing at a steady rate. The offenders are youth that live in the small community. Crimes such as mischief, theft, break and enter, and assaults are the main offenses being committed. The town is a couple miles away from a larger city that holds an activity center. You find the only way to have fun in this is by partaking in criminal activity, which is causing a crime spike in the town. Hey! Hey! <laughs> you okay? <laughs> it ain't easy out here in these streets. <laughs> find them, please. Find them. The stakeholders involved in the scenario are members of the community who are being harassed by the youth. The community members are in fear of being terrorized by the punks who live in the same community as them. The youth are running around committing crimes because they have nothing better to do with their free time. Acting in criminal behavior seems to be the only option for them, which leads to them going around committing crimes within the community and increasing crime rates among the youth. In a small community of about 20, 2,500 people residing within the community, the, the town is within a couple miles from a big activity center and a couple miles away from a bigger city where community members like to do their shopping without being harassed. One of the root causes for this behavior is age variation. Age variation plays a factor because they are at an age where they're starting to mature and venture off on their own with their friends. My name is Farnsworth Council. Would you, uh, would you care to elaborate on the, the youth in your community and how you feel? Uh, these are millennials. They don't have enough to do in our community. They run amok in our own town. Always on the damn cell phones, tweeting at me. It's exhausting. And so you, you come here, and you, do you feel safer in the bigger city? In this large city? I do feel safe. I have lots to choose from in these stores. As to the smaller community, the youth here don't pester me. They don't steal my canes. 
And what, so what kind of crimes uh, do you experience living in your community? I had these two gentlemen egg my house. I've had my spatula stolen. And, oh, what the fuck? and my bike stolen. <laughs> bike? My bike. <laughs> Excellent. Well, well, thank you very much, sir. Uh, and we'll let you back to your shopping. Who are you? <laughs> what is that? Strict alternative measures. The city of Ottawa took a very different and stricter approach to handling troublesome youth. A curfew that punishes adults for allowing youth under the age of 16 to be loitering between the hours of 12 a.m. to 6 a.m. Now, although this is not a favorable approach to the problem, it is certainly an option. Forming bylaws that restrict youth may serve a partial and temporary solution that may address some of the problems. However, the only way to truly make an impact and aid the community permanently is to focus on the factors leading to the youth to the crime in the first place. Well, recently the, the community, we, we put this uh, curfew in effect to hopefully cut down on some of the, the youth crimes in the area. Um, so I guess I'm just making my rounds, checking for youth. Um, oh yeah, this guy. This guy over here, he's about, he's about 15. I've dealt with him a, a few times. I think we're just going to go up and we're going to have a, have a few little words with him. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Here comes the fool. Here comes the fool. Here comes the fool. Y'all don't really worry like that. Here comes the fool. Here comes the fool. Here comes the fool. Y'all don't really worry like that. Here comes the fool. Here comes the fool. Here comes the fool. Y'all don't really worry like that. Here comes the fool. Here comes the fool. Here comes the fool. Y'all don't really worry like that. Here comes the fool. Here comes the fool. Here comes the fool. Y'all don't really worry like that. Here comes the fool. Here comes the fool. Here comes the fool. Y'all don't really worry like that. Here comes the fool. Here comes the fool. Here comes the fool. Y'all don't really worry like that. Here comes the fool. Here comes the fool. Here comes the fool. Y'all don't really worry like that. Here comes the fool. Here comes the fool. Here comes the fool. Y'all don't really worry like that. Here comes the fool. Here comes the fool. Here comes the fool. Y'all don't really worry like that. Here comes the fool. Here comes the fool. Here comes the fool. Y'all don't really worry like that. Here comes the fool. Here comes the fool. Here comes the fool. Y'all don't Yo, bro, did you see what Jason did yesterday? Oh my, oh my god. Oh my god. He was hey, wrong. Come on in. You guys don't have any alcohol? Yeah, right? man. No, good. No, no. No. Alright, come on in. We got pool over there. We got the PS4 set up. Oh, pizza's set? coming later. You guys got pizza coming? Something? Yeah, we got pizza coming. What kind of pizza? Uh, I think I want wine and pepperoni. Are you gonna pizza? Uh, yeah, I can probably get one more. Okay. Yeah. I think I might say I'm then. So you wanna play pool too? You can come join oh, us. Okay. <laughs> Youth Initiative. In Swift Current, where a very similar issue was affecting the community, a very interesting response was generated. The creation of a place for youth to hang out called The Center proved to be effective in providing a safe and supervised area for youth to hang out. The Swift Current Community Youth Initiative expresses their vision as driven by a passion to address the needs of youth today. We strive to make youth-related resources, programs, and counseling readily available, affordable, and easily accessible. So in the best interest of this community, we are addressing, it's important to cut off the metaphorical head of the snake and address all the issues that are causing these youth to commit crimes. An initiative such as this would, could be very effective in a small community. The issue for creating this place for youth may, it does have its cost downfall, and finding staff would also serve as a problem. As you see, the hockey team is up and running. The community bonded together, made the fun to happen, made it possible for the kids to have something to take up in their free time instead of partaking in criminal activity. Uh, it's been a great experience for me and to get to know these kids, and I think it's really helping them. Everybody's enjoying it, having fun, and uh, getting to know one another. Sports. Sports is an amazing outlet for youth that also promotes physical fitness. Youth learn valuable skills including teamwork, hard work, commitment, and leadership when involved in sports outside of school. Developing teams for this community may prove to be difficult. To find the money to support this project could also serve as an issue. On the cheaper side of the spectrum, a soccer team or a rugby team can be easily established outside using a few balls, some jerseys, and some cones to mark a net. Whereas the, most, the more expensive response would be something as forming an ice rink for, or recreational center. Although the more expensive would most likely prove to be more effective. Another issue with creating sports teams, aside from the cost, is finding enough adult supervision and coaches to dedicate their time for the best interests of these youth. 
Also, finding enough youth with interest in playing sports to form a team may also form an obstacle. Another possibility to address some of these issues with sports is to respond this is partnering with schools from the neighboring city and allowing youth from this town to join their sports teams. The town of Coldale did a similar approach in following, allowing students from Kate Andrews High School in Coldale to join the Chinook High School football team in Lethbridge. Kate Andrews did not have enough students interested in playing football to fully form a team, so they were disbanded and allowed them to join the Chinook Coyotes. This would not be overly taxing on the community and would be very beneficial to youth that wish to engage in sports. Through sports and the center, to no cost of the youth has been able to cut down but not eliminate criminal activity in the youth at this small community. This, however, did come at the cost of the community by having to shuttle students to another town for a facility to play at, or if a building was set up inside the town for the youth to use for their sports teams, this would be an expensive project to the community. However, by allowing these youth to be a part of something to release the boredom through positive and healthy activities is a great way to divert their attention from crime. Putting in a curfew was only a temporary fix, if even that. Since the youth already commit crimes in the community, they wouldn't mind breaking more rules by staying past curfew. Also, we found this quite aggressive. Happening and why it's happening. Response is. Run. <laughs> you ran too damn quick. <laughs>